Let's do this. Oh yeah. It's being a monk. Being a monk. Ooh. Ooh. Is it blindfold you wore last night? Oh I didn't I didn't even see this. Before you can control the unknown sense, you must first learn to see through the eyes of Hester, your young disciple. Your mind stores every single detail of everything you've seen. Close your eyes and say goodbye to today. Focus briefly. Then open them anew. And yesterday, he's here again. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've, I've, I've. Okay, uh, are we good? I respect you, in spite of it all. It's not easy to observe the rule of St. Francis these days. And why don't you observe it as well? Science, logic, and history bid me otherwise. I feel like neither Giuseppe nor I have been just with you. For that, I apologize. <laughs> I knew you would come to your senses as soon as that Italian devil lost his grip on you. Dead dogs don't bite. You disgust me. You're a clueless, tattletale, brown nose who doesn't understand what he copies. And it's not just the books. It's the rule of St. Francis and all of that meaningless nonsense you observants constantly repeat. I'd rather be a brown nose than end up covered in shit, Brother Yago. And that's exactly how you will end up. Mm -hmm. Hey, back one. I still back one. Um. Oh, is this dude? He doesn't speak, read, or write. The perfect accomplice and confidant. Oh, poor bugger. Oh, did he? Oh, I bloody missed it. <laughs> I mean, ah. Oh. I bet he was very happy about that. It did take him weeks, I agree. Where are the other throat wreath? Oh. He's got 30 missions left, has he? I see. Have you played it before, have you, uh, Rasta? You want this throat along with the mouth for something to do with the ability to make sounds. There is any way about his rosary. You wonder what it means to him. Yeah, I completed it. But, oh, you completed it a few times, have you? Oh, okay. Right, can we talk? Yeah, let's talk to him. Oh, okay. Well, we're not talking to him now. St. Francis calls for a certain number of knots on the braided belt. A missing knot in the in a belt on an observer <laughs> such as so I paid when it first. Oh, did you? That's pretty cool. Oh, GT5. God, you must have been really young then. Wait a minute. How old would you have been if you first played GT5? GTA 5? 
Oh, look at that bold spot. Wow. I mean, I can't hate you for that because, oh, because I think I remember playing the original GTA. Oh, no, wait. Where's that hood? Yeah. I, 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 I agree. I agree. Oh, did they? Oh, that's awesome. Well, apparently I'm talking to myself. Dark times are upon us. Giuseppe's death is only the beginning. Flee Santa Bruno. Oh, maybe me the few, okay. Leave Hines behind? He saved me. He gave me a new life. Books. Brothers. I can't do that. Hines wants you to follow Satan's path. But you believe in the righteous God. <laughs> You must observe the rule of St. Francis. You've been GT San Andreas for I'm afraid I'm the same season. sin as Brother Hines. Uh, the sin okay. that led Adam to eat from the tree of knowledge and condemn mankind. I want to know. Not only do you understand languages, you're also aided by demons like that painted old man that sometimes appears before you. If you really want to know who you are, you must first accept this. You are Satan's son. So what do I do? Should I devour a live goat? Sacrifice virgins? Kill myself and <laughs> return to the hell once I came? No. I must follow Hines's plan, whatever that may be. Okay, so we go to this bloke. We ever see Giuseppe again? Yes, I'm slowly feeling moments such as this one. Sacrifice you. <laughs> It was Father Diego who told him, keep acting like a demon and the Inquisition will end up examining that mole. Okay. What about behind him? Okay. Let's talk to him. Talk! If I could talk to Giuseppe once again... Why did you have to die? Who knows? Like me. Those yeah. Greek gods you love used to claim. So look at his feet. <laughs> and I don't mean to brag. <laughs> there could be something on his feet I need to look at. To you and me, there's just no comparison. <sighs> I will Bridget. never forget you, brother. But Tilo sure won't forget me. At least not until you find out why so Father so. Hines calls him so much. Oh, Rusty, you, you redeemed. Did All right, let me finish this conversation, then I'll, then I'll do it. Promised? I think you know the answer better than I do. Whether you're ready to <laughs> yeah, admit true. it is another story. Did he Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Press one. He's looking at me weirdly. <laughs> ah, you wonder what Miller's book contains. What is Jean searching for in its pages? It's fucking weird. I wonder if I can press the book again. Some peculiar monks. Isn't it strange you've never seen these stained glass windows in a monastery? Oh, okay. So we've got the windows. And yet you know you never left the building. Okay. Alright. Oh, did you, have a, did you have a love of stiff, did you? It happens. Check out his feet. Oh, can't see his feet. Oh. Delicate clean hands of someone rubbing let others do his dirty work. Now it's more of. Oh, wow. I hope she's alright, man. I did have it wrong, but she was angry at me. Oh, that's good. Talk. Well, I'm, I'm asking them. When the Inquisition <laughs> captured me, you found the dead body of my friend Alonzo, whose recently deceased corpse could pass as my own. Isn't that too much of a coincidence? I believe you have reached your own oh. conclusions. But remember what I always tell you. Chance does not exist. It is Satan's hand. And sometimes it uses our own to achieve its goal. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. 
You knew that Giuseppe would die upon reading the book, didn't you? All I had were suspicions, the same as you. You said you appreciate me for my talent with languages. What will happen the day I'm no longer useful? Have you ever seen me do someone harm? Anyway, I'm gonna do Don't a quick workout. Although, so. Oh, you do a quick workout, okay. Son. All right, Rasta. You I'll, I'll still be here when you come back. All right, let's finish the conversation. So we've taught, we've done all this. Oh, what's that there? Oh, that's yow. <laughs> so we've got windows and and the choir. Oh wow! So we've got all that from the from the blindfold. That's mad. Okay. Have I got to do? Have I got to do the whole? Okay. Now, nah, the other day. When Brother Botia was sleeping and Hines was not in his study, I snuck in through this window. It's a bit risky and not an easy feat. But, oh, the pleasure that comes from knowing that I could steal something from our superior if I so desired. Okay. Don't tell us all. We'll have a good laugh tomorrow. I'm going to make Brother Botillo lose some weight. Okay. Uh, I've got to do. I've got to do the same. Disappear with Brother Hines. I'm sure that's where he takes you. Of course. I'm the best copyist in the Abbey. And who else would he trust to copy the secret books? And? He always blindfolds me, just like last night. It's better that way. I don't have to resist the temptation of <sighs> texts. When Giuseppe started to bleed, you did nothing to help him. It was the devil's doing. That was Satan's blood. It could have contaminated me. I helped him. Then get away from me. Later, upon returning to myself, I thought I heard whipping in yours. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember Do that. Do you remember that the abbot prohibited self-flagellation? Do you? Why? Wow, no masturbation. Why can't a pious man pay for his evil deeds? What evil deed did you perform last night? I thought nothing had happened. Go with God. You must be thrilled, now that Giuseppe is dead. No one will ever call you Botillo again. Shh! Remember, we know nothing. Calm down, I'm not going to tell anyone. But the devil can hide anywhere. Only God knows who is watching us and where from! What do you think happened exactly? Didn't I tell you already? It was the devil's doing. He has possessed that book. I thought the devil specialized in possessing people. Are you really that now? <laughs> he can possess the very air you breathe. I heard that about two years ago, in a village far away, the devil possessed a hog so that it would devour the son of a noble. That's amazing. What are you copying? <laughs> a text lacking in righteousness. Hortensius by Cicero. If the book is everything you say it is, why are you copying it? Because that cursed Father Ezekiel is contaminating the soul of our dear abbot. He manipulates him with his science and his art to lead him off the righteous path. I wouldn't rule out the use of magic either. <sighs> but was it not the very same book 
that led St. Augustine of Hippo to embrace faith? What's that? Oh, yes, yes, but God can write straight on crooked lines. That does not prove that the book is not impure. Furthermore, St. Augustine was a sinner before he was a saint. Grant me chastity and continence, but not yet. Pervert. All right. What are you copying? <laughs> okay, so that's all done like that. Okay. You must be thrilled. Shh. What was that, him. Brother Botillo? I can't hear you. You're acting just like him. I expected more out of you. Okay. Alright, let's see this miserable bugger. Oh, that is. It's the bell. Oh, okay. Obviously, we we need a structure. All right, this I think isn't that the secret. Yeah. All right, let's go meet the head honcho. Do I go this way? Oh, it's just the candles. Even Giuseppe sprinkled them with pepper dust, and chaos ensued. No one has lighted them again. Right, I know what happens when I go this way, so I'm going to the next door here. May I come in, Father Hines? My door is always open to you, Brother Yago. Yago? Yago. He's definitely. He's definitely. Oh, we've got, we've got the key anyway, so... Okay. I don't understand why you always favor Brother Turibio. You are the better pupil, no doubt. But you'll be better off if you draw a little attention to yourself. On the other hand, commending Brother Turibio helps me win over those he sucks up to. The observance. What do you think of Father Ezekiel? He stands up to the observance and understands the world through reason. So brave, and yet so naive. The only reason that governs this world is that of your father, the devil. I do prefer him over that gang of lunatics, no doubt. But I must proceed with caution and not show him too much esteem. By the way, he should be showing me how that printing press of his works sometime soon. Remedio. Don't you Remedio. think our heaven is a saint? Oh, no doubt. He has a view of the future, and would certainly embrace anything that Father Ezekiel and the like propose. But he knows that without the observance, he would lose his grip over the monastery. That's why he tries to please them, and he's not the only one. I did a bit of work out, I got sidetracked. <laughs> That's all right, man. I know you're not fond of Father Diego and the other... Get back to it, or... How could I be? Their insistence on Watch me play as a monk. Saint Francis is ridiculous. Their idea of <laughs> poverty makes me laugh. You need money to preserve the knowledge of books and a full stomach to think with clarity. But you pretend to like them. I watch you play I and get back to it. <laughs> if Thank not, you. they'd rally against me in my library. They'd find out what I'm hiding mm -hmm. sooner or later, and they wouldn't like it. What makes you so attached to Ursus? His gratitude. Just as yours bonds me to you. You saved Ursus's life as well? What had he done? Oh, I, I don't even remember. You've forgotten? When the Inquisition wants to execute someone, they don't need an excuse. Who cares? I haven't listened to any of that what you said. Oh. You it's... said you would grant Giuseppe a Christian burial. Have you done so already? Ursus took care of it before the morning prayers. Don't worry about it. I'll pray for him. Don't waste your prayers. Keep them for you and for me. But send them to your father, Satan. Beg him to grant us the ability to read that book. Where were we last night? It's Ugh. 
best if you don't know. Why? You are my most prized possession. I don't want to lose you. I, I sound well, so if I had read the book, <laughs> Would you have left me to die? Not in the slightest. I wanted you to see the power of the book, but you're not ready yet. That book of Jericho. What if Terribio had read the book? That coward. He would never have even tried. I only took him to incriminate him. I was afraid he'd badmouth me to the observance. Now he won't dare. The book has a Y on its cover. What does it mean? I don't know, brother. Ugh. My name is Miguel. Yago is only the name you gave me after helping me escape the Inquisition. It starts with a Y. Don't jump to conclusions. Yeah. Past. Do you know father. anything about my father? Yes. Hey, he got the old man God and the zombie trophy. Satan. He stayed in the shadows for centuries, but one day he will rise. I'm talking about my human father, the Duke of Fontenegra. You don't have a human father. I don't follow. In order to avoid further problems with the Inquisition, the Duke confessed that you weren't his son. Years before, an old man who claimed to be a messenger of the King of Naples spent a night at your father's estate. The next morning, he had disappeared, leaving behind all of his belongings. His clothes were lying on the bed, covered in blood. And among the clothes and blood, they found a happy and healthy baby. You. The Duke, who hadn't managed to Ooh, conceive an heir baby, or friend. bastard, kept quiet and gave you his family name. A bastard. And no one ever heard from that old man again. It was all the devil's doing, no doubt. An act of your true father. <laughs> I don't believe his father is Satan. You have denied it countless times, but what if the Inquisition is still looking for me? The plan worked perfectly, Yago. My name is Miguel. Your name is whatever I say it is. Miguel de Fuentenegra was devoured by a diabolical pig in that dungeon three years ago. That's what the Inquisition believes, and... <laughs> oh, so this is like three years later after you, you broke out of... Oh, okay. Let's try Sometimes south. I dream of returning to Fentanegra, and... Don't be a fool. What if someone recognized you? As I've said before, I didn't give you a new life for you to throw it away in vain. Your place is here. At least until we decipher that book. When you saved me, you were already master copyist of Santa Brigida. And Fentanegra is more than 20 days away. How did you find out about me? One of my most grateful pupils is now a scribe of the Holy Office. He knows of my commitment to understanding ancient books, unknown languages, and lost knowledge. When the Inquisition set their sights on you, he contacted me. I left immediately and arrived just in time to save you. Okie dokie. I feel like I'm wasting my time here in Santa Brigida. Your gift for languages is very useful. And it will be so even more in the future. Well, I've got my own ideas for the future. Speak. <sighs> oh! You know how much I enjoy ancient mythology. Maybe I could focus on writing about it, like... The fact that I allow you to read certain books does not mean you can flaunt this knowledge. Anyone who speaks of pagan <sighs> myths will automatically become a target of <sighs> the Inquisition. Do you wish to go through that again? Or do you have any better ideas? I'd like to follow in Father Ezekiel's footsteps and do something with my hands. I like the forge. To see iron come to life. Like Vulcan, the blacksmith deity. Your talent lies not in your hands, but in your head. I will not let you put it to waste. Any other ideas? Snobby prick. <laughs> Since I understand all languages, maybe I could be a missionary and evangelize the Americas. What part of I am Satan's son have you not yet understood? Any other ideas? Listen to me. You are the devil's son. There's nothing you can do about it. Make the most of the gift he's given you. But how? His is the book that killed Giuseppe. Perhaps when you decipher it, we won't have to hide anymore. Then why don't you let me give it a shot? I must first test it on other subjects. I can't risk losing you. I could use a mirror to read the book's reflection. 
just like Perseus did to avoid turning into stone when looking <sighs> at Medusa. Oh, nonsense. Mythology is nothing but myths, legends, and lies. But the power of the book is real. You've seen it. If the book is my father's work, why would he kill me? Because the book is not your father. Does it have eyes? Does it know who you are? Can we be sure it will recognize you? Can we know if it has a will of its own? Well, I'm willing to take that risk. I would protect you with my own life. If you want to risk your own, you'll have to do it over my dead body. I... I think I'm not cut out for the priesthood. I'd like to get married. You know, meet a woman and... And? Do you think I'm a virgin? I will give you, not one, but many women. When you reach the priesthood, I have planned for you. What? But let time take its course. What else do you have in mind? Speak. Albert, speak. Speak. Oh, bollocks. Come back in. Alright, uh have I? Oh, I've done all that, haven't I? I just want to see something I haven't done. Okay, I've done that. Yeah, fuck it, let's leave. I'm not interested. It's hard for I was smiling while you work. Do I have a key? So. Oh, hello. Good morning, Father Ezekiel. The day appreciates the epithet, but doesn't deserve it. What happened? Did you know that Queen Isabella is coming tomorrow to see my printing press in action? Queen Isabella? Oh, we'll get some hour, shush, shush, I must there. perform a trial before Brother Hines, here, in this very workshop. No. Nobody ever informs us Razophores. Well, there will be no trial. Somebody stole all my letter E types. Huh? I won't call for him. He's always so busy he won't even remember. Maybe you just misplaced the letters. I heard about a condition called Listexia that I never make mistakes. The e dyslexia, mate. In all his clumsiness, tore his habit on one of the pins of the printing press. Oh, so we've got a tear. Don't know how that's gonna help, but. You said they stole all letters except one, right? Yes. One was stuck in the mold and I haven't had the time to pull it out. Here, in case it helps you find the rest. Oh, what we got here? Oh! Okay. That's random. Did you know that sometimes I have the strangest dreams? In fact, I dreamt that I was in a secret library within the monastery. Do you have any idea where that kind of library would be if it were oh, real? Oh, you have you, dirty mole? No. Although, if speak. I had more information, speak. we could deduce its hypothetical location. Abbot, no. speak. Sometimes the speak. Lord uses dreams to remind us Abbot, of speak. things we don't know we know. Abbot, speak. Do you have any idea who the thief could be? I only know it's not me. Abbot, speak. Oh, Rest, good boy. You'll be guilty. <laughs> Rest, uh, Abbot, speak. <laughs> I don't think it's him, but could it be Father Hina? I doubt it. He supported me all along. Although the printing press would put an end to his privileges as master copyist. So who knows? <laughs> yeah, go on then. What about Giuseppe? He's the Abbey's greatest prankster, no doubt. And he's been yeah. missing all morning. I'm sure he's up to no good. You may start to realize that if it was Giuseppe who stole letters, it'd be very hard to find him. What if Turibio did it? Hmm. Could be. That radical observant disapproves of everything I do, although he is a coward. Would he dare to do something like that? What if... This is lay brother Ursus's dream. Yeah. He would only do such a thing following brother Hines' instructions. Poor Ursus. 
It's as if someone had removed his free will. I suppose Father Remigio is above all suspicion. It's not easy for our prior. Caught between those radical observants and the knowledge that progress is good for the community. If it was him, rough times await us all. What if I did it? Okay. Act like you're confessing. Father Ezekiel, I confess. I stole all your letters. <laughs> Brother Yago, you're as bad at acting as you are noble in spirit. Oh, so it ain't me that they, that's doing it. <laughs> Father Diego can't stand you. Another oh, fanatic. The usual suspect's trophy. His excessive observance of the rule of St. Francis has kept him far from the path <laughs> since last spring. My workshop would still reek of his nauseating stench. What exactly are those types you say were stolen? There are small metal letters that I place in line. When pressed against the paper, they print the ink. <gasps> you could try writing without the letter ink. I could write an entire book. Oh, well, <laughs> please start. Thank God Almighty for visitors arriving on this day at the Holy Catholic Sanctum that is Santa Brigida. <laughs> you said the. Ah, uh, yeah, Doctor. How did you get Her Majesty to visit the Abbey? Ever since my friend Johannes invented it, the printing press has enchanted <laughs> nobles and commoners alike, and the Queen is no exception. Being aware of this fact, and after receiving approval from our abbot, I sent her a missive stating that Santa Brigida housed the first printing press in Spain. Now I wish I never had the nerve. Alright, uh, okay. Uh, Why do you want to test it with Father Hines? As master copyist, he must approve quality of all printed materials. But that won't happen now. The meeting is in less than an hour, and I don't have letters E. I won't call for him. He's always so busy, he won't even remember. Alright, I've got to find some E's. I've got to find some E's. The inventor, my friend Johannes, sent it to me worked with him during my European travels years ago. He was going to send it to Segovia, but I convinced him by saying I would make the most of it, that God, I would show it to important people, which won't happen tomorrow if the Queen arrives and I print Isabla and Ferdinand, monarchs of Spain. All right. Do you oppose those who practice a strict observance of the rule of St. Francis? Not at all. They are the ones who oppose common sense, which is the tool our good Lord gave man's aid in his survival. Diego, Toribio, and all of those loonies want to take us back into the Dark Ages. We're in the 15th century for crying out loud. Science. You are a man of science. Isn't that somehow at odds with faith? Science is the study of divine creation. How could it be at odds with faith? What is at odds with almost everything is human understanding that never manages to grasp the meaning of our good Lord or his creation. That's what science is for, to enlighten our understanding and bring us closer to God. Is Father Hines closer to you or to the observance? It's hard to say. On the one hand, he helps me with my research. On the other, he praises useless fanatics like... Oh, life training. But Father ah, Ines sorry, like, is an intelligent man. <laughs> I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Okay. All right, first of all, that conversation. Barbie is equal to what, bench? Uh, oh, of all the tools meant to choose a chisel. Okay, we got a chisel. This is my chisel. An excellent metal polisher, for God's sake. The cup is just sharp enough as it is. What could a polisher would do? Is it, uh, Okay. 
Oh, 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 oh. I don't know what the tube that is. is a oh. periscope. Oh, Paris. By my friend Johannes and yours truly. Inside, there are two mirrors that, placed at 45 degree angles, allow the user to see without being seen. Unfortunately, one of the mirrors broke several days ago, and I haven't had the time to replace it. Please take it. And if you manage to fix it, all the better. Okay, so we've got to fix the periscope. Let's look, at, let's look at this again. Ink, a quill, and pharmacy. Don't papers. touch any of that. I beg you. If I can't use the printing press, I'll have to use some archaic form of writing. Hmm. Oh, calm down, man. Calm down. Oh, we can use that for the... Oh, I've got an idea. Uh... A beauty, isn't she? To think that a few miserable letters are going to make her look bad in front of the Queen. You search among the varied utensils, sides by the long rope. Don't you dare bring that down, Brother Yago. When I see it, I get the urge to draw. And I've got tons of more important things to do. Talk to him again. Well, I didn't do the exploring part. His eyes reveal determination while the specks of dark souls become long nights of work. Wait a second, why are he wearing his eyeglasses? Good question. Nothing more you see in this belt, the tools we already lent you. Is there any more I can... Oh, that's interesting, because... Oh. Oh, man, calm down. Let's go see the uh, book in case it's like any new... Ah, here we go. Regarding Ezekiel's printing press trial? For a moment, you can see the lines in telling him that sequels. Yeah. Oh, nothing. I'm just nervous, that's all. I hope it works. I really couldn't care less, to be honest. The books I'm interested in will never be printed. Although, it does indeed spark my curiosity. Go back in here, talk to all bald, eh? Ah, here we go, bookshelf. May I take some books from the shelf? Absolutely not. It's time to write, not to read. Okay, so we've got the rope. I don't think remember something about... Shh, don't tell a soul. We'll have...
it's a bit Okay, now back here. I respect and science. Oh, um... Can I ask him about the... Uh... Bushman prank. I've got a key, but what's the key for? Yeah, let's have a. Let's... Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean the ball. I'll just do it anyway. It's a bit... Shh, 
Don't tell us. Space shades are all right, used to break. Oh, this is a bit where we, uh, yeah. Okay, what about straight on? This is without. Metal plate. His clumsy. Don't touch it.
hopefully not solved yet, this boss is gone. Okay. I need to find a mirror. I need somewhere to put a key. I feel like I'm missing something here. Spool to Brother Giuseppe. A very fine, almost invisible, yet resistant thread. It must have had about 10 meters left when I gave it to him, but it seems he used it up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Did you? Do you have. Hmm. Who knows? Alright. Oh, so we made some progress.
Oh! Oh, what's inside? What's inside? Okay. I'm actually making some progress. The, the last letter E. Okay. The letter leaf in all his... I gave that... Maybe I can dab the letter E in it? Could the invisible thread still be at Giuseppe's desk? Maybe you can see it at a glance.
Don't tell us. A metal plate, previously inked after hitting it with leather balls. Well, I could, I could go back and get the paper. Helping that is better than nothing. That's where the types or letters go. Any of that, I beg.
Hey Rasta. Oh god, I'm, 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 for the last like 20 minutes I've been stuck. Don't know what to do. There's something I'm missing out here, but I can't see what it is. I want to talk to him. May I absolutely? Shh, don't tell. Don't tell him. Nah, the other day, it's a bit. Soon, because I've I don't have a Scooby Doo what to do. Yeah, I'm gonna stop because I ain't making any progress. 